great yes. recording zoom sessions i'm telling you all the drama <laughs> uh, rodrigo did we have a poster for this particular session because i don't yes you did yes we did so this entire time i've just been working using different things but not the poster what? let me let me I've see if i can get the document that you sent me uh, let me see if i can get it for you this one we had to even make with uh, with Fila himself because uh, <laughs> yeah he 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 atunge tenge no tivo ah come mm. on ah <laughs> uh, by the way let me tell you one of the people that I really really respect in the music industry is Fila not just because of yeah, what he's doing but um, you know yeah people people and Stella is here by the way Fila Stella is from KBC although she doesn't like me All mentioning right. that. <laughs> uh, yeah she's from kbc so, and she's she's uh, she's taking journalism and uh, she's Hello. pursuing not taking she's pursuing journalism in uh, in etonini why tuambie hii university yenu university hi everybody hi fila it's so great hi. to meet you uh, my name is stella i am from the university of nairobi uh, nice. the, the can university. you hear me yes i can hear you stella i can hear you stella oh yes Yeah yeah uh, not the, the the article the <laughs> just joking <laughs> so yeah um, <laughs> you've been you've been one of the people I've always admired especially when I listen to the Red Fourth you know choir and it's just so amazing yes. so I've always wanted Thank to you know just uh, meet you either virtually or in person and here I am so excited Thank I came you. with you Thank you Thank you here from well, you It's an honor it's an honor it's an honor yeah. I'm I'm glad to be meeting you guys Thanks. Yeah, I've been, I've I've heard about uh I've I've heard about this platform and people talking about it and uh and the discussions that you have and I think it's important for you know for for may industry players uh upcoming and also established to be able to hear from each other and platforms like this allow that opportunity and I think I'm glad to be part of this. We're glad to have you. <laughs> Thank you. Um I've also heard a lot of great things about you and I've read about you. Anytime <laughs> your name comes up, the response I get is, "Oh, such a good guy. So humble." Ah. So you just get ah. such nice vibes about you and uh um, ah. kind of wait to get to talk about that a bit more. Yeah, oh. and uh, just joining us right now is uh, Charlene from Africa Online Vocalist. Karibu Charlene. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm sure already Judge Villa has heard about Africa online vocalists so Yes yes I have I have I have Yeah and yeah, another amazing platform again Yeah There we go Charlene where are you let's see if she's here you know she's a bit shy also this one Araki <laughs> <laughs> but yes I mean I I I agree with everyone who says you know what Judge Villa does is is uh, you know what you do because i've seen i've seen um before w- what we usually do here is before we invite anybody we'd like to make mm-hmm. sure that they have what sort of jerodrigo entertainment also has which is basically sharing the love and spreading the joy that's exactly what actually you've been doing all this time uh with Thanks. music and with with the melodies that you do and people mm-hmm. don't know this but you are actually the official train of sauti soul man so is it official? Official? Yeah, well 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 right <laughs> well they they work with different people and um well I've worked with them for a long time and uh yes from time to time we work uh, we I train them and also the soul generation artists yeah Nice. Yeah, but you don't say Omera. Hey, sawa. <laughs> hey, sawa. Yeah. So Dr. Boom is also here. Dr. Boom is one of my students as well. All right. Uh, yeah, Dr. Boom is also one of my students as well. He's a he's a he's a he's a is he a rapper, but he's also a singer. He's a rapper and a singer. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so Dr. Boom say hi. Judge Villa ndo huyu mlikuwa mnasema tuwaletee Judge Villa ndo huyu finally. Amekuja. <laughs> mhm. Uh-huh. 
Dr. Boom and Mike yake na kuanga inaleta anga is that but he he's 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 yeah, definitely yeah. Yeah. Oh, so. Oi, Mike yako. Uza simu nunua network. <laughs> I see magical Jomba. Jomba mwenyewe ametujoin leo. This is such mm. a loyal participant. Ana joining this session uh-huh. zote. Hata kama uko kichaka, right. make sure you join. Mm-hmm. Jomba mambo. Nimeni right. kidogo. Okay, ni kama ni ski, but Jomba mm-hmm. Okay. Anapotea anapotea gikusikia sauti yako. Sijamsikia at all. Acha acha fix it okay. No problem. So yeah, Judge Fila this is uh, J Rodriguez Entertainment and this is what we do and yeah. that is what we are all about simply being able to train and uh, assist people understand their calling. Right. Yeah, especially in the performing arts yeah nice yeah well, i mean, I mean uh, it, it's very few people are doing that very people are looking at the next generation of artists and performers and you know it's just planting a seed uh, we we are all the time talking about uh, you know just improving the industry and i believe through programs like the one that you run people are able we are able to raise the standards slowly and surely and i think uh one day we'll be counting uh the 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 gains that we've made and i think yeah it's a, it's a step in the right direction yeah and i think it's it's exciting that uh, you know now we're starting to have conversations like this and now one of the most exciting things for me you know before ella takes over is to see you building Most people don't know this but you actually built Redforth from scratch man. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I mean that that's, that's yeah. I think those are the stories that I'm excited uh, to talk about uh because I know yes. the the struggles of every other young person trying to build something that is also going to be impactful and I want to share both the good the bad and the ugly on this session. Yeah, be, being able to help, uh, you know, those who are just starting, those who have already started, and those yeah. who are even already there with with experience, because that's the beauty about what you do, and it's 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 mm-hmm. very very exciting to be able to. Most people don't know to be able to navigate within those three uh, uh, sections, if I can call them yes. that, all at once, and still be able to thrive all at the same time, is, mm-hmm. is pretty amazing. Pretty pretty amazing. Yeah. Uh, Ella. Yes. Yeah, I think we can start. What I'll do, I know there are other people who who are uh, looking for me in them. Okay. Uh, so that I'm able to to join them in. But uh, Mtawali has said she's coming over. Alisema hezi hata hii session. So I know if she misses <laughs> mimi ndio nitaulizwa. So so acha acha nikamtumie link mbio mbio. Yeah. Sawa, sawa, we're fine, Evo, mm-hmm. and I think we can get started on the session. But before we do that, I'd like to say I think it's really amazing how similar the two of you are. You, uh, Fila and Rodrigo, mm-hmm. uh, both of you mentor young people, and you're so passionate about it. And the yeah. craziest thing is, you do this for free. You don't ask for anything mm-hmm. in return. And I think that's what you do because you're doing it from the bottom of your. I mean, I know you don't do everything for free, <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I've read that um, you've done a lot of free mentoring, and that's not something that yeah. comes by easy nowadays. Everybody's out yes, looking yes. for them, uh, are looking out for themselves, and you're trying to put food on the table. So for any service that you give to people, you'd expect yes. some kind of payment, and if money mm-hmm. is your motivation, then. Ah, it's not usually a success story so could yeah. to fill up and you. Rodrigo the two of you were just yeah <laughs> thank you thank, thank you. you because i i've i've experienced i'm i'm one of the students being mentored by Rodrigo and we are bearing such juicy healthy fruit you have no idea but i'm going to fill you in on that um All as right. we continue getting to know each other okay mm-hmm. Thank so you. I'm sure he, uh, Rodrigo had already introduced the session. This is Zoom room with Ella. 
and doing so well here is Ella. <laughs> um, <laughs> we do here, we bring in industry professionals and we connect them to um, young talent. And the people that are going to join this session are people that are looking to learn probably uh, in uh, this time, they're probably looking to learn about music because they're listening to you, Fila, and you're all about music. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. I'm really excited to have you here. Thank you for agreeing Thank to be in this session. And I can't wait to learn. Uh -huh. So I think we should get right into it. And um, All right. this is going, this, this shouldn't take too long. I'm sure you've done this uh, count uh, uncountable <laughs> times before you've talked uh -huh. about uh -huh. and once again you get to do that so just tell us briefly uh about philip tuju who is philip tuju tell us about your family your motivations your passions talk to us all right thank you once again and um uh, it's really an honor for me to be here and i just want to say hi to all the participants who have joined us and I believe that through this session, I'll be able to just give an insight of who I am, uh, my inspiration, my motivation, my challenges, my shortcomings, and the things that I, I feel I can be able to contribute to the industry and things that I've also gotten from the industry. So my name is Philip Tuju Sijenyi. Uh, Sijenyi is my son's name. Um, I'm the third born in a family of five. I one deceased, uh, but uh, I still honor her. She's my sister and uh, was also a big inspiration over my life. Uh, yes, I have two brothers, uh, two elder brothers, and uh, now my late sister and another uh, sister who uh, is, uh, is with us and uh, we are very tight, Faith. Uh, well, I fell in love with music. I think uh, my the reason why people know Fila is because of uh, my contribution and my acquaintance with music. Well, I I was born in 1983, uh, July uh, July 14th, 1983, here in Nairobi, and uh, and my parents were very musical. I uh, they attended Nairobi Pentecostal Church, what is known today as Sitam Church. Uh, they were uh, founding members of the church at that time. And uh, I was brought up in that very Christian, very contemporary Christian uh, Christian upbringing at that time. So I got acquainted with choral music uh, that is not exactly the typical Kenyan choral music. It was, I think we all know how society in Kenya is, is you know, there's that sort of divide where there's the, what we call the uptown kind of, of music. And then there's the river road and what really the masses listen to. Yes. So as much as I got the influence of the Meriatienos, uh, the Helen Tawalis, <laughs> you know, as much as I got that uh, influence uh, and uh, the joy bringers kind of thing, that had an effect on me simply because at that time we were just watching KBC and it was the only channel that people were uh, people were were able to watch. So that had an influence on me musically. But apart from that, my parents sang in the in the church choir, and we had manda compulsory uh, family altars every evening that we had to do. And I would say those were my first lessons in in music. Uh, but I noticed. Early in my age, when now I think back, when I try to just remember, uh, when I try and remember where, where I fell in love with music, the thing that really fascinated me was harmony from the word go. Because my dad would, of course, lead the family altar and he would sing. He was a tenor. And then there was always this funny uh, thing that happened when my mom joined in the singing she would sing in a very light alto. At that time, I didn't know how to describe it, but that combination of voices really fascinated me. And it was the thing that I always used to look forward to. Apart from the different songs that we would sing, the, the thing that would fascinate me was the, that the marring of the voices, then the sincerity of the singing, 
So, and then uh, my parents also were into very worshipy kind of music. So that, that is what founded uh, my, 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 my falling in love with music and particularly music that I call emotional music. Well, uh, we, we continued singing at home. And then as, as I grew up, even in school now, we, I got involved in a church, uh, in a school concert. And then later also I got involved in a Christmas uh, uh, concert for children, for 13 year olds. And then that, that, I would say that that is the time that I realized I really have something. Because we had this collection of contemporary songs from I think Hosanna music that we were being taught the same way that we do today where we learn songs that have been composed by other people. And I remember those, I, I can even remember the song that really made me feel, I, I think I, I can actually sing. And the song was called The Brightest Spot. The Brightest Spot. It was a Christmas song. It's not a famous Christmas carol because it's still contemporary. But that song was amazing. And uh, I, I didn't have any lead role in it, but just uh, uh, working with a, with a choir of kids that we were, and then I was singing tenor. I was singing tenor in, in that in that choir, and I felt that that was, uh, and I felt that was really uh, amazing. Sorry. Sorry. Someone has their mic on. Sorry to interrupt. Joy Robin, switch off your mic. Joy Robin, switch off your mic. Thank you. Awesome. Right. Awesome. Awesome. So, sorry for that. So um, I think so. me falling in love with this particular Christmas carol, I, I would say that that is when I felt, because I, I, you know, there's a way that you can sing and you can tell the enthusiasm that the rest of the choir has. And you know, we are 13 year olds, puberty is just setting in, adolescence, no, you, you, you're trying to impress the girls. But at that time, my main focus was was the music. I really felt that I was, I was really enjoying this. As much as I felt that I was an introvert, when it came to the singing, I really enjoyed it. And I was in the back line, nothing, no spotlight was on me. But when I went back to school, I tried teaching uh, my friends uh, the songs that I'd learned. And looking back, I realized that at that time is where the music, the music bug bit me. And I never looked back. Uh, in, in primary school, I continued doing performances in, in, in school. And then if you remember, well, most of you guys are young and so you guys wouldn't know, but there was a time that, uh, there was a time that d growing up, rap was the music that was for boys. You know, hip hop was just big and we had the likes of Busta Rhymes. So that was music for the boys. And then now there are the slow jams and the R&Bs, uh, the likes of Joe C, Mariah Carey, those are songs that those girls who used to like listening to that music. But now I used to find myself that I was more inclined to listening to the Jodeces, the R. Kelly's. So those, th that is the influence that I got from an early age. And I remember my, my schoolmates used to laugh at me that I was listening to music, uh, that girls are the ones who listen to that kind of music. But anyway, I didn't feel bad about it, but I cleared, I cleared primary school. And then now I had an older brother who I, I really looked up to and he was in Upper Hill School. So he was in Upper Hill and then he was part of the singing group in Upper Hill. And I, I really looked up to him and he used to lead worship in church. And I used to say, okay, my brother is singing well, but to be honest, I really think I can sing better than him. As much as he was, he was the person who inspired me, I really felt that, okay, there are things that he's doing I feel I can also do, then why can't I also be able to, to lead worship? But he was very outgoing and I was very shy. But I just followed in his footsteps. And then I also said that if it's Upper Hill that has made him such a good singer, and he was also very popular, I said, then I also want to go to Upper Hill. So I did everything and made sure that I was accepted to Upper Hill School. And then on joining Upper Hill, that's when I immediately was put just by God's grace, because there's a way that when you're joining from one, uh, they are the optional subjects. They, they choose that for you by, by default, just by the, your, your admission number. So if 50 people have already filled up the first class, that class might be doing business education. The next class is doing agriculture as an option. Then in form two, you're going to change your lessons. So by, by chance, I was put in the class that is doing music. And 
I, I just thanked God that I was going, to, I was able to study music as a subject. And then I also purposed that I was going to join the school choir. And that combination is what I think gave me the foundation to apart from growing as a singer and also someone who appreciates music, I also grew as someone who can be able to read and write music. And I was the top of my music class from form one all the way to form four. And uh, I w that, that way I, I, I could be able to read music. And then by form two, I was already teaching the, the school choir because uh, I was the only one, I was one of the only students who could read music and be able to, to teach the pieces for the music festivals. So I would say that is what gave me that foundation. It gave me that foundation to be able to, to, to just grow in music. And in Upper Hill, that's where now we formed Voice in the Light. And well, uh, from there now, everything just blew up and I decided I, I, I fell in love with music. Is someone else? Okay. Yeah, so I, I fell in love with music again uh, in, a, in, a, in a deeper way at, at Upper Hill now. We formed Voice in the Light. Voice in the Light is just a group that is, uh, it's a successive group. It just comes every year. There's a different uh, uh, group of students who are selected to be part of the Christian Union group. And the, the thing that many people don't know that Saudi Soul was also part of, of this group, Voice in the Light. They came much after us. Uh, but they, 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 they had this, they were in this group called Voice in the Light. And even if you research on the name Saudi Soul, Saudi Soul actually means voice in the light, voice in the sun. So I think that's where they also got their name. So, and through this group, uh, many of the successful musicians have come from, from here. Some of the groups are defunct, but we have the likes of uh, Josh from Amos and Josh was part of this group. Uh, Chwea from Elani was also part of this group. Uh, we have people like Scott, the violinist. All these were, were people who went through this system at Upper Hill. And yes, on clearing Upper Hill, I also now wanted to learn more. I wanted to grow more. We formed a group called Pentamony that lasted for a few years and then people went their different ways. So I decided to stay at Upper Hill as a volunteer choir trainer. Because I, I felt that uh, at the time, uh, uh, financially, we weren't doing well at home. And I felt that since I can't be able to get to uni, one of the ways that I can grow is by teaching. So I felt if I can, the only way I can get better is by teaching choirs. And uh, I'm happy that we, I taught choirs at uh, uh, the choir at Upper Hill there until I think I stopped teaching, uh, training Upper Hill in 2018. So all the way from 2003, I've been training Upper Hill as a volunteer choir trainer and also working with other schools, uh, Moy Girls, State House Girls, Ngara Girls, so many other schools where I also worked. Some I was working for pay, but also just getting the experience of working with voices and working with choirs. And then I, I made my attempt to form uh, choirs. I tried forming a choir and involving members of Saudi Soul. I tried involving members of Elani. At that time, they were still uh, struggling artists. They had just cleared high school and they were just trying to, to find something to do. So I used to train them at uh, Nairobi Arboretum. Uh, and that is what I would say, those are my years of now discovering what it means to really have a passion for something. Because we had to walk to Arboretum uh, the guys from South Seoul also used to come there. The, many other popular musicians who are now big right now used to come uh, to work with us to, to Arboretum to, to try and just figure out this music thing and just trying to break through in the music industry. At that time, Kapuka music and music from Ogopa DJs was the biggest thing. Most of it was rap. And then slowly and slowly it turned into singing and that's why it, Today, I believe because of that uh, uh, involvement by different different kinds of artists, the space has changed now that the industry accepts singers more than rappers. But there was a time that those rappers that were doing much better than than the singers. So, uh, well, that that has been the journey. Uh, so I, I tried forming different groups. Uh, they backfired. They failed uh, until now about uh, twenty. 
2015 is when I decided all the groups have failed, but I'm going to make one last attempt. I, I was doing a concert that I felt was, this concert was, was, I was going to introduce myself as Fila. And I decided I was going to put together a concert. I felt that I had enough students and I felt I had enough friends who would come support me in my launch of my, of my, of my solo project as a, as a solo performer. And then apart from just performing alone with a band, I also decided that I was going to have a choir that was going to back me up. And this choir was made up of my current students at the time who are from Upper Hill School and State House Girls. And we came together, we, I taught them different songs and we were ready to perform a concert in, uh, this must have been 2014, yeah. This must have been 2014, November. So we planned a Christmas, we, the whole of uh, September, October, November, we did rehearsals with the students who are still in school. And then now in November, we brought together even the ones who have, have, have cleared school. And we set the concert date for December 4th, December 4th and December 5th. The concert failed terribly. No one, I, I, I mean, the people who attended the concert were just members of the choir. So what? we paid the band. We paid, we, that time we were working with uh, the band Gravity. So, cause I, cause I had, I had had experience cause when we were working with my group Pentamony, I had experience of working with Gravity. So I paid money to, I paid money for the, the musicians that I felt were really going to, to, to pull off this concert. So we paid Gravity. I paid uh, a small string orchestra now the members of the current uh, Nairobi, Nairobi String Orchestra, so we paid them, we paid a pianist. But the truth is that the concert failed. It was a disaster. No one attended and we spent a lot of money. I'm Nothing so happened. sorry about that. Uh, yeah, yeah. And, I, uh, and, I, and I, I sort of went into some kind of uh, depression. That December was... I just locked myself inside because it was a disaster. I had when, was no this, when was this Fila? When was that? Last year, last year, but when? This is 2014. This is 2014. 2014. So I it was it was a disaster. So I felt that I need to go. I just need to rethink about everything. And then this uh, came January 2015. I get a call from, uh, I get a call from, uh, at this time I'd already decided that the group that I was going to, the choir, uh, we had decided that we're going to call the choir Redford Chorus, but no one attended the, 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 the event. And I still, have the, I still have the posters. I have, and I keep everything of mine that succeeded and everything that failed, I keep all those posters. And that poster is one that I hold dearly because I paid for the poster, I paid for tickets. I remember, because I, I used to practice at Aboretum. Uh, two days before, uh, two days before the, the concert, I realized I, people haven't bought tickets. And I've paid 70,000 for the auditorium at, I've paid 70,000 for the auditorium at St. Andrews. So I'm like, no one is, at, how will I make back this money? And I still have to pay the, I was giving a platform to other artists, but I still had to pay them because that's what I told them. I told them, may I believe even though I'm giving you a platform, I'm going to pay you something. So everyone who's coming to perform, even as cut and raisers, believe that they need to be, to be paid. So I knew that I was just accumulating debt. And, you know, I realized that I have over 200 tickets. The auditorium that you took uh, seats 1,600 people. I haven't even sold more than 50 tickets. So I decided, okay, I'd rather give these tickets out for free than, than, than just have a, an empty auditorium. So I went to a boretum where I usually, I usually practice and I, I could find a couple just enjoying the sun over there, just chilling. And I walk to the couple, I tell them, oh, my name is Philip, my name is Phila, my stage name is Phila and I want to give you these tickets for the two of you to come to my concert. It's going to be happening on Sunday afternoon. And the guy pushes away my hand. He tells me, get out of here. I walk to another couple. They say they don't want. I went to Hope FM. 
I, I went to Hope FM, which is just, which is CITAM. Hope FM is run by CITAM. I walked to the, <laughs> I walked to the reception and I said, ah, guys, I'm, I'm having a concert. It's a gospel concert and I want to give okay. away tickets. So if you could give these tickets to your listeners. So I gave two, two books, two books that have 50 tickets each. I tell them if you could hype it. And the lady, the receptionist could just tell, oh, this guy is so worried. This guy is giving out tickets for free because the tickets were really well done. And even by today's standards, those tickets are really well done. And But the truth is that now no one wanted to come because who are you? No one knows who I am. So how do we support you? So no, I'm giving away free tickets, but the fact that I'm giving away free tickets, people, I think it gives people more reasons than this is really not a concert worth coming for. I wrote to my students uh, who I felt were doing well at the time. I told them, guys, come support me, come watch. I even, you know, I just, I sent them, <laughs> this, concert this concert is going to be big, but nothing, nothing like that happened. I thought I was at a, at a, at a certain level, uh, but unfortunately it was a disaster. And that-, that yeah, is, that's I, why I don't do concerts. I don't do concerts. <laughs> 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 yeah, but you know, it's, it's, it's the truth, but I, I needed that lesson. In my mind, I knew that I have thousands of students who have taught for over 12 years. So I'm sure I would get a thousand people to come. Even the schools that I teach, I gave the head teachers, I gave the students, the parents of the kids that I teach, no one came. I, I think I had 11 people who bought tickets. What? And I, I, had, also, I had also printed <laughs> I'd also printed, I'd also printed an album. <laughs> that I, no, I'm, serious. I'm serious. So I'd also printed, uh, I'd printed albums of, uh, of a project that I'd done with Upper Hill School. It was an album, I'd called it uh, Everything We Feel. And uh, that the album was ready. So as my, uh, when you buy a ticket, you also buy an album. So I'm calculating revenue, you know, I'm just saying, guys are going to have my music and I'm also going to make money. It was a disaster, guys. No one came, and I went into <laughs> depression. And then now the, the interest. <laughs> I feel like so now the Helen Alikuapo when all of this was happening. No, no, it's because every musician relates. Anyone who laughing too hard. Even me, I don't do con. I don't do concerts because of that. I don't do concerts. <laughs> No by the way, you Ongo, I can also yeah. relate. Judge, by yeah. the way, Fila, I can also relate. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't it's not, it's not, <laughs> yes, it's not a joke. Anyone who has tried to push their brand, you run into wow. expenses and that you wonder, how did I get myself here? Imagine. So, uh, 2014, December, and then, mind you, not to just uh, to paint a very way picture, but I had just lost my dad in 2013. So I felt I was recovering. And then I felt that with this concert, I'm going to really come out and, you know, do my story and do my thing and, you know, just really tell my story and inspire people. And it was a disaster. So after 4th of December, I had debts to pay all the way up to 20th. Then after 20th, I just said, me, I'm done. So I just stayed in the house, locked, I said, I'm not even going to record anything because I had a small home studio. So I just used to sleep, wake up, watch TV, watch movies, imagine how sad, Yanni. I was just thinking about this whole music thing and how did I get myself here and is it really worth it? Come January 2015 now, I get a call from Eric Wainaina. Uh, Eric had seen me rehearsing somewhere. And then I'd also met Eric because there was a time I was accepted to Berkeley College of Music. I was given a scholarship, but it was a partial scholarship. And Eric was, uh, was actually one of the people in the board that also advised Berkeley because he studied at Berkeley. So he was advising people. He used to sit in the board that advises on a program that they, at the time were calling the African Scholars Program. So African Scholars was to give scholarships to African students. So I had gotten that scholarship, but it was a partial scholarship. So I still needed to raise money. So Eric knew about me. 
And then at one time when I was preparing for this concert, I was rehearsing with the band and Eric was, we were actually rehearsing at Eric's uh, studio. And then he had me and then he said, yeah, you have a nice voice, you, you, you're, you're singing well. Uh, let me have your number, we can work on some things. So he called me in uh, January, 2015. And he says, uh, there's this new show that is coming up. The show is called uh, Maisha Superstar and he's the music director there and the show is not for new talent it's for talent that is in the industry but is struggling to to break through so he was saying that you are one of the people who we feel uh, you are an established artist but you haven't broken through into the industry a competition a music competition i wasn't too keen about that because i uh, i had done coca-cola pop stars with Kevin, that time we had we were a group Pentamony, and then we did Coca Cola Pop Stars. Kevin won. Uh, I got eliminated at the semifinals. I tried. Uh, my, I I tried. <laughs> Helen, why are you laughing? I tried. Uh, I tried. <laughs> I tried. Uh, no, I see no, no, I see why. <laughs> no, you see what? Yeah. No, I see why. KGS, I can sing eh? <laughs> Yeah. You know, so, uh, energy, energy. <laughs> yeah, energy. yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, and well, I got uh, I was uh, I was eliminated at the semifinals of 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 uh, pop stars, and then I yeah, attempted. Yeah, I remember pop stars. Yeah, not, yeah. I believe it or not, I attempted uh, Project Fame. Is uh, Tasca Project Fame? I did it three times. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And yeah I, and I I, <laughs> so the final one, the final one, I think this was. 2013, if I'm not wrong, yes. 2013, that's the one, the one that Truth Matete won. I remember I, I, I just missed out on the, on the house. That's the time that now they were going to decide who makes it to the, to, to the house and I missed that. So I, I wasn't too keen about being part of another music competition, but Eric told me that uh, this might be a bit different, so just come do it. And at the time, I was feeling, ah, me, I've given up, and then I'm trying to organize concerts, no one is attending, let me go get famous. Even though I don't win, there's a way that it will bring me some kind of attention, and then I'll use that to push, to push my brand. So I went for the show, but now, at this time, I'm already 30 years old. And then, in the competition, I'm, I'm, in the competition, I'm with guys who are 24, and 24 is the oldest person so i'm like i'm with kids in this competition you know guy i am an introvert you know you know i'm an introvert <laughs> you, know, then, <laughs> you know i'm an introvert and then i have to to know you know because with these tv shows you have to act it's like you know you are uh you yeah, have to you act have it's some, like you, 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 have, you, have, you have to be a you are trying star. to get fans so yes. I was boring. I was boring. I wasn't. Uh, I wasn't feeling the vibe because me. I, I like to keep quiet unless I'm singing. If I'm not singing, let's not talk about anything else. So the show was a struggle for me from day one. So yes, I made it through. Nameless was my mentor at that time. So the show, the concept of the show is that you had a mentor. Each artist, uh, each uh, there were about six mentors. So the mentors were choosing. The, you, you all audition and then the mentor chooses, okay, this is the person who I feel I can mentor. Sort of like what the voice is doing. Exactly something like that. So the show, the show was well produced, but the only thing about the show, the show was on a platform that wasn't mainstream. The show was on uh, pay TV. And at that time, pay TV wasn't very accessible to majority of Kenyans. It's not what GoTV and DSTV is today. So the show didn't really do its rounds, but the people who cared about music knew about the show. And it was one of the best produced shows, music competitions I've ever, I've ever seen on the continent. Even if you compare it to South African productions, it was a very budget show and it was good. But I, I went deeper into depression because I felt I, I'm not happy. I'm not happy because I have to do songs that I love, but songs that don't represent me. But you see, that was a mindset that I'd given myself. I, I gave myself a mindset that because I'm in this competition, I have to do other people's songs. 
So on the, during, because uh, every night, the, every night there's a competition and your points accumulate and these points accumulate to the end of the show. So there's nothing like if you win today, next week you win, you're on top. No, all your points are going to accumulate. So my points, they were the first competition, number last with 60%. The next person above me has 80% and we are six. So I am number six. And then the number five has 80%. And then the other people have 90s and the, we, and the top person has 100. Following week, I am number last with 70%. The other week, I am still number last. The fourth week, I, be, I come uh, second last. So people are happy. Okay, this guy is rising, but I'm still doing badly because there is nothing special about my performance. We have younger people, and then you are a young, old, you're not young, you're old, and then you're competing with, you're competing with people, people who are still in uni, so they have a fan base, they've come with their fan base who's, who are helping them. Me, I, I, me, I didn't even go to uni at that time. You, you, you so are by yourself, Ban. I am on my own, I run, a muse, I, I run a studio in my house, I have no fan base at all. So I got depressed. Nameless is also getting depressed. Nameless is regretting what he got himself into. And then I just told <laughs> Nameless, uh, I, I'm just, I just told Nameless, uh, this thing is not working. And because it's not working, man, just allow me this once to do my thing. Allow me to just do a song, my own song. Allow me to do my own original song. If it doesn't work, me, I still thank you for for choosing me. You would have chosen so many other guys, but for some reason, you chose me. And that moment, I still wasn't confident enough because I still, uh, I'm one of those guys who struggles with confidence. And if anyone who looks, who looks keenly will see that this dude, yes, he might seem that he's confident, but there are certain insecurities that this guy has. So I wasn't confident of writing my own song. So I had a student of mine, I had a student of mine who was very gifted in songwriting. So I told them, come, I want you to spend the night where us guys are being hosted. I want us to, to work on, there's a certain song I've ever heard you singing. I want us to work on this song. I'm going to perform this song. So we worked on it. When it came to the performance day, I became number one. And then that's when I realized something, something is going on here. And then I told, from there now I decided in this whole competition, I'm going to be doing original music. And I did original music that I felt represented who I am. And slowly now, the sh uh, just a major shift happened. And now my profile started rising in the competition. Now I became a contender. But you see, you see, I had done so poorly in the whole competition. So I needed to really pick up so that I can be able to, to do well. To, to really match, uh, close up the margins because I'd been, I'd been defeated at the previous uh, stages of the competition. But any, everything happened and eventually uh, that's when I, I, now my final song, during the finals, I got to the finals and then my final song that I did was now a song that I had written some time back in dedication to my, to my dad, to my late dad. And then now that's the time that that song, when I did it, that's the song that really did well. And I could see one lady, uh, she was one of the South African producers. She came and told me, she just came and told me on the sidelines of the show, you have something special. You have no idea. You might not realize it right now, but there's something special. And that particular song, where that song has come from, is going to take you very far. So I thought about it, but I could tell the seriousness that you're saying that because she was a uh, quite elderly lady, but she told me that that song really touched her. And I felt, okay, yeah. Then maybe my calling is to sing songs that, you know, touch people's hearts. So after the competition, I decided that that was the song that I'm going to release as a single. And I decided the moment I released that single, so uh, the show ended in 2015. Uh, 2015, ended 2015, May. By November of 2015, I released the song uh, Lemna. So, and that song Lemna now 
got me some attention because I just released, I just released uh, an audio. Then I just did a lyric video and I was invited to different, uh, I, I was invited to different uh, radio stations to talk about it. The song was getting airplay on, uh, on, on, on Kiss and it was also getting airplay on other radio stations. And I felt, okay, now this is a song that I produced in my own home studio. I just brought a few musicians to play for me and I felt, well, now this now gave me life again to sort of believe in something. So at the same time, I also decided, well, I've been teaching for long. The music thing is not working for me as a performer. I, I don't feel that I'm really breaking through uh, because I'm organizing concerts and they're not doing well. So let me, let me get to teaching. And then I've been called to Berkeley. I've been given a scholarship, but the scholarship just covers 1 million. The balance is 3 million. No one wants to support me with that money. So I said, I'm not going to Berkeley. So why don't I, I so I had an idea. Why don't I start my own version of, of a Berkeley? You know, just a small, a small dream of what Berkeley could be in Kenya to teach contemporary music. Because I, I felt that the music schools that existed were teaching classical music, it was heavily classically based, but we needed someone who can teach guitar, but it's Lingala, someone who's teaching seven, someone who's teaching something, someone who's teaching R&B, someone who's teaching jazz. So I felt, let me try. I don't have the papers, but I think I've taught enough celebrities who are celebrities right now to at least get people who can can, can come and subscribe to my school. At the time, I think Saudi Academy had also started and it was doing very well. And then it was also associated with Saudi Soul at the time. So it was really, really doing well. So I said, let me try. So I had a friend of mine who uh, was in school and he was in formal employment. He was working for Kebs. His name is Derek. And I told him my story and I told him, hey, bro, just support me, manze. Yani, I, no one can give me a loan. No one here can be able to give me a loan but you're in formal employment. Is there a way that you can just uh, fund me? Just give me money to be able to pay for office space. I already have the design. I already have the look and feel of the space. But if you just give me the, the seed money, and then I'll be able to, to pay you back when things pick up. So he was able to take a loan and help me set up and pay for about three months of the, of the space. And I started the music school and for some reason, this gave me so much life. So the school started doing well. I had my former students coming for lessons and then we decided to, to also move the studio there. And so we, had to, we started doing small, small recordings. And then the school just picked up and at least now I felt that musically things are making sense. And then I could say that I run a business and I was very happy about what I was doing. The school was growing, not many students, but I was doing all the lessons at that time. And then I decided, uh, wow, uh, let, let's do this. And then since I'm still teaching Upper Hill, why don't I now attempt to record Upper Hill? So the first song that we did, we did uh, a cover of Daima, Daima Mimim Kenya by Eric Wainaina. Ah, that one, it did well, it did well, but on YouTube only, in the circles of the students. So the students would share to their friends. In those circles, it did well, but that's it. And then at that time, Saudi Soul had just released an album. Mm. And then I was looking for a song. I was looking for a song to, I was looking for a song to teach the boys. So I was looking for a song because there's a, there's a class at the music festival called, uh, the class is called uh, Zilizopendwa Gospel. So you, you, you arrange a song, a gospel song that exists for, for, choral, for choral music. So I was looking for a song that I felt is a song that I like. And at the same time, because remember I told you that me, I grew up in a more contemporary musical world. So my Swahili is very poor. My, uh, my, my, my appreciation and grasp of the African theme uh, and idiom of music was very poor. 
So if I decided to do a Kenyan gospel, because Zilizopendwa gospel means you do a Kenyan song. So you do a song, a song that is popular in the Kenyan circles. So I thought, hey, I can't find any song. All the other songs are complicated. I won't be able to arrange them. And the festival already has people who are very brilliant in that style of arranging. So one day as I'm listening to Sauti Soul's album, because they released everything online and they put all the audios on YouTube. So as I'm listening to the songs, I came across Kuliko uh, Jana. And then out of all the songs that Sauti Soul had posted, Kuliko Jana had the least views. And then I started asking people, there's a song that Sauti Soul has posted from their album that no one is paying attention to. Is it because it's gospel or what? But that song, in my opinion, is the best song that these guys have done. But anyway, I decided, ah, why don't I try teaching the boys this song? So I went to, I went to, I went to Upper Hill the following evening. I told them, guys, there's a song I've already arranged how the song should go. I want you guys to sing this song. So I taught them, pararam, pararam. So I taught them the parts, the way the guitars were going. And then after, after they've sung, I decided, this thing sounds cool to me. I don't know. Remember, I'm coming from a place where I've been rejected so, time, so many times musically. So I'm, I'm no longer sure what is working, what can work and what can't work. So I told them, guys, uh, just sing the song there I've taught you. Let me record it on the phone. Let me record it on the phone and then I'll go listen to it. So I took a video of them singing and uh, the dance move so that I can see if it makes sense to be taken to the festival. So when I got home, I said, okay, this thing is cool. And then our Facebook was there. And then I decided, ah, let me just post something to show people that I'm still around musically. So the moment I posted that song, I noticed that the song was going viral in some way. And it was just a small clip. And that's the moment I decided, apart from doing this song for the festivals, I'm also going to do this song. I'm going to try and record this song in this format, and then release it as a cover because something needs, seems to be happening. So the boys were just about to close for Easter holidays at that time. So I rushed back to school the following day with some uh, equipment. I told them, okay, let's sing this part. And then let's agree when you come for holidays, come and you come to the studio. Those guys who can, because some parents wouldn't let them come. So, but they decided to come. And uh, I, I would say that, that the rest, the rest is, is history because that is what now put Redforth as a brand out there. So immediately after they were invited for a Coke Studio, for, after Coke Studio, South Soul decided to do uh, the, the song now as an official song. And I would say that now took the profile of Redforth to a whole new level. And at that time we were still doing everything for free and people were asking, I remember the person who advised me, actually, when I recorded the song, I decided this song is going to be called Upper Hill School Choir. But a, a famous artist uh, called me when he noticed that the song is doing well. His name is DNA. DNA called me and he tells me, Phila, I know you didn't expect that this song was going to do well, but there's a mistake that I'm seeing you're about to make. I know how you've struggled in this industry, but you're going to lose this opportunity <laughs> if you don't brand this song as yours. Definitely. If you don't, yeah. yeah, if you don't brand this project as your project, it's going to come and it's going to go and no one will ever know who you are. So he told me, when that song starts, write your name, Fila Presents. He's the one who came up with that idea for anything that I release. I write Fila Presents because he told me this song is going to be bigger than you. And this group that you've created is going to be bigger than you. People mm -hmm. have to know where it has come from. So I'm telling her, you know, but you guys, you know me, I'm not interested in, in, in fighting for the fame. He told me, boss, group <laughs> And he told me, don't call it Upper Hill School. Everyone knows that that school is Upper Hill, but make sure that you've given that choir an original name. And yes, you can say Upper Hill School, they're from Upper Hill School, but make sure that you've branded that choir. And you know, the person that I would thank in terms of making sure that I branded, because I had done Redford Chorus before when the concert backfired, 
but he insisted, make sure you give that choir a name, not just Upper Hill. Because when this boy's clear, Upper Hill is going to belong to Upper Hill and you won't have anything to show. So I thought about it and I told him, okay, boss, I'm going to try it. But if it works, Manze, I'm very, very grateful. And, and that, that, that was the history. And from then on, we started calling the, the we branded the, the videos on the beginning. We say Phila presents, no matter which artist is going to sing, we say Phila presents, and then the name of the group that is singing, and then we call it Red Fort Chorus. And we did this with uh, Upper Hill. And then now later we formed the group called Red Fort Chorus. And then now later again, we, we, we did with a group called Tamim and the rest is history. And through that, through the success of, of those releases, people wanted to know the person behind Red Fort Chorus. So apart from the group being called for different corporate events to perform, and now we were making money that I didn't think I would you know, make on a regular, I didn't think that, oh, yeah, this, this group is making money. The choir is being called. But of course, now there's a challenge that we can't work with high school students because the issue of money now becomes a challenge if it's underage people. So we had to put together a group that is people who are over 18. Now came the struggle of now convincing people that, yes, the boys are the ones who sang the original song, but because of legal issues, uh, the people who regularly perform, because the boys are in school, we can't always be moving them out of school in uniform. We have now the adults who have just cleared school. And that's how now we formed the Redford Chorus as is known today, which is away also from, from the high school students. And I would say that is what now brought me all these other opportunities to be able to be a contributor, to write for adverts. I wrote adverts for different corporates. And then now I was also now invited to to be a, a judge at a small, small shows. It started, I remember the first judging opportunity I had was at uh, KISS, uh, KISS 100 when they were doing a, a competition, competition called The Search. The search yeah, yeah, The Search. I did The Search. And the funny thing is that at, during The Search, at that time, before Maisha Superstar came, I was also a, content, a, a contestant for The Search. But because it took time to work out when Bruce Odiambo finally just decided one day, Phila, yes, I know you are a contestant, but now I want you to be a judge. And you know, everything changed from that. Now, after the search now came, uh, uh, came uh, I Can Sing, which was something that I didn't expect. Uh, also now an opportunity that put me on, the, uh, on a countrywide level. And then now I've done, now I can sing for, for two seasons. And then now, most recently, now I got the opportunity to do uh, Amazing Voices. And all that is because of the, of the time I did trying to make uh, the choir work and also the time that I also learned from my lessons. So I believe that that, that was a contribution. Uh, that was a time that, was a time that I, I had to do and I believe I'm thankful for the lessons I learned through that and pretty much in so many words, that has been my journey as, as I, I could be able to, to put it in a nutshell with the struggles. I really wanted to focus on also the challenges because uh, I, mean, I think that is what keeps me going today, remembering that how I was able to overcome the challenges and the shortcomings and the mistakes that I've made and then, well, there are so many other things that I'm struggling with today on a different level, but uh, I'm thankful for the journey that I've had and I was, I'm happy to have shared it with you. Right. Thank you, guys. Well, that is, uh, that is one heck of a story, my friend. That is, uh, that is what you call a testimony. This is in a sort of test, you testimony. Not to, not to downplay, but yeah, you're right. Man, the things, you know, you said something that I think most people don't understand. Those of us who understand music, those of us who have done music for a living, those of us who have done music know how you organize shows and you anticipate. He, he takuja. I mean, I run a group myself and I can tell you there are days you organize now and you're there like, what? I thought you people would come, <laughs> you know? Uh, well, and uh, before I go any further, um, 
I mean Helen is here. Helen. <laughs> Vila, me, me Vila, I've never heard I have never heard Vila speak like this. Man, Mimi, kuna mali ameniguza. I'm like, you know? oh, Fila, who made this is what you've gone through? No. <laughs> I hope to, I want to hear Ian's story. <laughs> well, I, re- I remember, I remember, I remember, I remember the day that he told Ian, this is yes. my show, Buddha. Yes. <laughs> and you know now, after hearing this, he technically has a right to say, you know what? This don't be my show. <laughs> this is my show, Mera. You will wake up and go. <laughs> Apart from, oh my gosh, thank God that I'm older than you. If I was younger, I would follow you everywhere. (laughs) (laughs) This guy has the sweetest, he has the sweetest smile, I tell you. Fila ndani yake naeza kwa nakuambia wewe ni mchawi, but the smile outside. (laughs) And I also, I also also remember, yeah, 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 you're right. I also remember ile ile detu luku I can sing. I remember him singing Chris Bar down and telling him, Ata usipo, yes. brother, hapa, hapa utashinda. Si ati kwa sabi, you don't know how to see. Because, man, ata tu ni kushoo. Hii story ya TV, hii story ya ita kubali ushinde. Fila, <laughs> I've never had you yeah. so real like that, oh my goodness. And you are so, and it's so hilarious. Fila, I think everybody who has passed through this industry, kuna vile tuwa na kwa comic, you know? <laughs> Inabidi, eh. Yeah. Na kama now wasi kwa 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 Right. Yes. Right. He, yes. He, yes. He, yeah, must. Yeah. he has no. You have no yeah. applause. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I will. Yeah. Oh my goodness! You have touched me. I want to say you've touched me in a very special way. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've always seen this Thank other fila. I'm like this story was very important for me to hear it, for me to hear it, and you told it in the most realest form, in the realest way. Oh my goodness, Fila. You know, by the actually, oh, actually, I have. Man. Yeah, Maze. <laughs> I mean, what you just said and the things you You don't. 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 You know, most people yeah, don't even yeah. know that. But yeah. I mean, as it is, no wonder he's a no nonsense guy. You tell, you tell it as it is. You know, so, mm-hmm. oh my goodness. Hey, Fila, God, I could bless. God, I could bless. Mm-hmm. God, for the patience, for the patience, for you to be patient with yourself, you know? Yeah. And then still yeah. to keep pushing on because there's mm-hmm. always a light at the end of the tunnel. You know that? Very and there true. could be people whose stories are like your stories. And they gave up, okay. and yet you didn't mm-hmm. give up. And yet, there's somebody who was ready to hold your hand somewhere. Yeah. The people who cried mm-hmm. tears because somebody yes. at least paid attention and held their hand at the end. Now we see them blossom, and we don't know the yes. story behind it. Everybody mm-hmm. should have heard this story. You know that? Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. Fila, That's very gonna, true. I'm going I'm to go to Catherine and tell Kathy, hey, you don't know Fila. <laughs> Now I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's actually very true, man. by the way. Let me tell you, you something. Know, you know, yeah. There are so many people here, and I have well, actually Tugi, Tugi, Tugizo is here. He's one of my band directors. Tugi is your biggest fan of Kwapa. Yeah. He actually <laughs> also tried to join Berkeley. Now, mm. the story, I know there are so many people here. Ata, ata Dr. Boom, Kwapa. Even Dr. Boom tried to join Berkeley and all those kind of things. Kwanza Dr. Boom, you know, has been getting mentorship from Tawali and myself. Dr. Yeah. Boom always encourages himself. Ata tu vile yako. Saingine askiangi. Kwa za mini, mindo nili muambia, you are tone deaf, bwana, you are tone deaf. Ay, yeah. uneza kuipa nini? <laughs> tone like deaf, unapeleka wa? <laughs> <laughs> Utampata kwa kwa na kwa 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 I realize that most of the tone devs, if you told them they were tone deaf, they work harder and way harder and give you produce. You know, at the end of the day, you have some results. Oh my gosh, Very Fila. Wa, Fila. Yeah. Well, well, you know, uh, it's a, a journey. There's a story behind those goggles. Yeah. 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 yeah I it's a journey. It's a... Yeah. 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 Fila. Yeah, I'm just saying it's a journey. You know, even when you talk about the guys who are trying to get into Berkeley, uh, you know, just uh, a few years back, uh, I think in 2017, there was, uh, we were going to do some kind of partnership with Berkeley. So 
today I usually write recommendations for people who are going to such schools. Nice. You know, people are going to Berkeley and stuff. So I think it, it's a journey. It's a, you come to appreciate more. You uh, you tend to look further. Even when now I'm advising younger artists and upcoming artists, even people who think they've made it, you know. I mean, uh, you'll notice that in my story, I want to talk about even the failures that you've had. You know, right. you know, we 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 see people who are successful, but we don't know the struggles that they have. You know, and people have struggles, but these struggles are what make them. And you see, uh, you know, the Helen is saying that she's never heard my story, but we need platforms like this. You see what you have put together here. This is where such stories can be told. Because in most other stories, in most other, most other platforms, it's the hype first. Yeah. But yeah. once in a while, particularly for us guys who want to make a contribution in the industry or even just right. want to break through. You know, sometimes maybe you, your biggest agenda is not to... to, to, to it's not uh, even to, to be known. It's just to have good yeah, music out there. But you really want to really just be out there. Uh, mm. Sometimes there's so many things that are going to, to, to break your heart, but you need mm. people to tell you the truth of what has happened to them so mm -hmm. that you can be able to to advise them and you know just because if if you know my struggles then you see ah it's possible um say he's not from exactly. a rich family then he can yeah. make it this guy he was rejected where 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 then i can uh, then i can also make it you know and that that's what platforms like what you've curated you that, know what i did uh, before i came here Fila. what i did eh? after hearing yeah. part of your story i just went to all the avenues we are having aov3 and i made this compulsory <laughs> so I just went and said, you know what? Kila mutu kujeni hapa. Oh my gosh, you know. Can you imagine? Guys, gotta yes. come here and listen to the story. Fila, mm. that's powerful. Mm. I've seen George Maganga. Can you remember George Rinane? Unakumbuka George? Yeah, nakumbuka. George, the guy who actually dropped out. He dropped out. Nakumbuka, nakumbuka sana. <laughs> so I'm <laughs> glad that he can find time to come. Hey, yeah, George, ka why? well done. Karibu sana. So, oh my gosh. Fila. <laughs> You have Fila. taught me something, Dana. Not always yeah. we tell the good stories. People need yeah. to know all the other side of the coin. Very and see true, that very success true. that doesn't come easy. It it yes. has steps to, you know, yes. you have to there's a there's a, to there's a process. There's a appreciate yes. the process yes. and love the process. Yes. It's a process, and then for some people, you're going to jump certain stages and then you go to others. We all have different struggles, so don't 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 be discouraged but yeah let's let's let me, push, let, me yeah. let me tell you something Phila, that i know is fact i think even when i was inviting you here i didn't expect it would go this well and thank you for that <laughs> let me just let, let me just do this let me let me just read a few comments here uh yeah. let me start i uh, hear michelle medigo is here michelle is uh, the brand ambassador of uh, jerodigo entertainment wow i am yeah. so inspired yani after not being recognized for that long you still didn't give up <laughs> wow 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 uh stella from kbc this amazing human being she's saying first of all you're yeah. such a great story storyteller secondly uh -huh. you you are very inspiring and honestly i am sure all of us have been inspired one way or another in our various careers thank you uh for such a great session one of the best uh grace caris is saying uh let me find this one who's making nini here um, sorry for that sorry i was muting sylvia right here we are i was muting sylvia uh let me keep reading uh someone was saying uh yeah we are let me let me see if i can trace this comment again um yeah we are um ah yeah grace caris is saying grace is from aov she's saying personally i've been very inspired uh meetings signature is saying i've come in late uh how can i get to hear his studio testimony again uh, that's nice just subscribe yeah. to jay rodrigo entertainment group on youtube we will share yeah. the whole video <laughs> because uh filana to you know fila fila is, is awesome just subscribe to jr entertainment to make sure to me share Alicia, uh, the lady with the flower, she's saying, I love his story. Aki, I am so inspired. Um, Immaculate, Ima from Africa Online Vocalist, she's saying, wow, such an inspiring story. I feel encouraged. May God continue uh, lifting you. 
Dr. Boom in the building. Dr. Boom is uh, also in AOV, very, very awesome rapper. He uh, says, thanks for that story, really. I am sure everyone here has a reason uh, never to give up because you sincerely, um, because of you sincerely, I, have, I am touched. And thank you for your time with us. Thank Dr. You. Boom also applied, is currently applying to Berkeley, by the way, Fila. Yes, do it, do it, do it, do it, man, do it. Yeah, um, mm -hmm. uh, Michelle again is saying, well, about the concert, Manze, ni me feel, if I can call people for a Zoom session, or course, <laughs> Buddha, I'm broken hearted, na concert, sasa. <laughs> hey, it's painful. It's painful, Bana, yeah? yeah. Uh, let me see. Um, Oh, and now she, she continues saying, "Na Zoom session, hai na ticket, so ni kumanisha ni kubaya." <laughs> yeah, uh, Michelle again. I feel so challenged and inspired, Alicia. I love your back. Ah, uyu anapenda background ya Helen Mutash. We Mutash, your background ni jambe vya nyoli itoa. Ni poa, ni poa. By the way, I was also staring at it. Era kapoa. We aya Shalin from AOV saying, "When you come a Georgian kwa KT and I can sing, si kuwa hiko sa hiko shows." <laughs> <laughs> then uh, Tugizo, Tugizo, who is my band director, is here. He's saying, I really don't know what to say, man. Uh, I think he's very, very, very inspired. Uh, Joy Maria says, Thank you so much, sir. Thank you for coming up. Uh, I mean, thank you for opening up. We all have scars, but they are beautiful scars, and not everyone can show their scars. Thank you so, so much. I mean, Fila, Nabado to Jamaliza, Ata to Jafika, you know, session Bado. But I feel, yeah. hey, boss, Nisawa. Yeah. Can I just say, you're the first person I've interviewed here in, in Zoom room with Ella, who, who I asked here, who agreed to share their logo with us so that we can both brand on both ways. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So thank you, man. You, to, for a lot of people, that doesn't mean much. But to you and me yeah. and Mtawali um, Monyagopale, <laughs> we know Very what true. that means. Yeah, to Najwa. Najwa will I want to give mm -hmm. time, but we are going to time here in Africa. Anyone here mm -hmm. who has a question for Judge Villa? Uh, Ella has stepped out Kidogo. She's telling me her internet is a bit buzzy and stuff. Uh, oh, Aya, Mili is here. Uh, say hi to Helen and tell her I miss her so much. Say hi to Fila Pia. Fila, uh, if you remember your PA when you're in Embu County, that's the one. Fila, if you remember the <laughs> Lady Monia Luka Meva ile to to keep you ile selfie ya to kiwa san ni san bet tamani san to kiss whatever. Yo 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 yo. All right. Kalikuwa po she was one of them. So she she's also a student of JR Entertainment and she's learning to become a model and she's starting to learn how to sing as well. Nice. Anyway, without further ado, man, I I don't know I don't know what to say, man. You Goja, have Goja, done. Ata si malizi si malizi kuna masualis. Okay. <laughs> whatever. Anyway, so I want to give this opportunity. I'm sure Fila has, you know, said his, uh, not all of it, but he said enough for you guys to be able to ask him questions. So I want to give this opportunity to anyone here who has a question. I feel like Nikki wambi amandike maswali. Takwa nime kunyima opportunity na Fila. Oh yeah, Tugi saying I want piano lessons for free. <laughs> Fila. Piano lessons for free, Mazi. Yo, yo, unonaje. Wait, let me actually read. Uh, uh, he's requesting. Is it possible for you to give me free lessons as a piano? I love the way, I love the groove you have. I think that is what he's trying to say. Question number one. Okay. Uh, well, so uh, the truth is, uh, for him, uh, I mean, the people who have interacted with me know that I'm not a pianist. Uh, but what I, I believe I have is, again, the emotion I can be able to pull out. Uh, I can be able to help someone get the emotion in their playing and the, in their mm -hmm. singing. That I can be able to do. I but think, one, uh, one of my other approaches in, in, in teaching is to, I want you to come as you are. Right. I, I, I work better with, I work better with your with your what with is your inspiration in you. Right? yeah you see uh, when i know what is driving you is it pain that is driving you is it joy do you want to what do you want to share then now right. i can help you do that so i know that might not be the exact thing that Tugizo is asking but um yes we i can be able to teach. i will share what i can but 
technically i am not a pianist yes but i think it's also about if, if there's anything i've learned from my choral days because i've done choral music for the last 11 yeah. years so i think it's also talking about the composition and being able to read music yeah. because uh, yeah, I'm able to definitely. read music, but I, I can't read music that well as Ata Mimi, so I was in church. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. My friend, reading music, so it's like in a Gloria in Excelsis Deo. You are, you're, you're tuta, tuta fanya. So I see Ella is back, and uh, uh, Ella. Yes, <laughs> I'm really, really sorry, Nili, have to put here. I'm not just a fan of Kumbila, I'm not going to be there. 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 So, anyone else? We are, we are in the uh, Q&A uh, session because clearly people have been um, eh, people have been moved by, by Phila's story and they just, they just want to ask questions. So, anyone who has a question as Ella is thinking of us, I know Ella has a lot of questions to ask. Ella, so yeah. All the questions, questions that I had to ask, but then I had to ask a list of questions. So when Phil is making his presentation, I wanted to, oh, yeah. oh, okay, question, answered, answered, <laughs> oh, answered, <laughs> answered. <laughs> By the time I was quite disconnected, I had to ask a list of questions. So, I have a question. Seven minutes. Fila, mm -hmm. everybody is going online. Do you have anything online? Like, are you using that avenue or platform for teaching? Um, yes. Uh, when it comes to teaching, yes. Yeah. Uh, but I don't know if you guys are going through this, but people are not too open about it. I've had parents who have told me, no, we don't want, we want to come to the school. So we have we have opened that opportunity, uh, but again now it depends. The people who are going to suffer, the people who are going to have to do a lot of convincing, is teachers like you and me, the people who are right. teaching contemporary right. music. Because mm -hmm. you see, contemporary music is about emotion. That's contemporary right. music is about feeling, but if you're teaching a BRSM, if you're teaching classical music. You just share the screen, uh, play bar number four. Yeah. Don't miss that ornament. Play bar number 16 <laughs> and then embellish it. Yeah, you see. So <laughs> embellish it. Like this. So that, that is easy to teach online. But if you're mm. teaching vocals and you really mm. want this person to understand something and you really have to demonstrate. Yeah. Sometimes you, you know, Helen, you, you have to nudge someone. Lazima ugonga, you took dog. push your kid. Yes, gonga. So it it will never it will never yeah. be the same, but we yeah. we have an opportunity. We have yeah. an opportunity. Uh, mm. We are hoping that uh, Corona is going to be under control. Uh, we are hoping it won't won't have some kind of surge again and everything goes wrong. But we are we are, but we should be prepared. Even for us who own businesses and music schools. Let's have programs that will be running forever. There's someone who wants to do lessons with you, but that person is in Burundi. They can't make it to Nairobi. Right. What, 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 what kind of uh, program are you setting up for people like that? Because there are people who are diligently following and want your touch That's in right. terms of you to advise no. them, even though it's just a master class. Speaking of Burundi. Yeah. Speaking of Burundi, we have actually students or contestants all the way from Burundi, Nigeria, Cameroon, yeah. Congo, yes. all those fillers yes. start thinking. Start yes. thinking of how and now you see, and the future, and the future of even now the program that you're running, that competition that you're running, you've seen, yeah. you, you started it, Kitambo, but look, mm. that is what the, the format that uh, Idol South Africa has taken. Now they're doing it online. Right. But it's still yeah. a big show. Yeah. Mm. But you see, it's still mm. a big show. Mm. So yeah. th that is the future. We, that might have to be something that is going to be happening for a long mm. time. The idea, mm -hmm. what, what, what I'm learning during this time is mm. not, to, not to conform, but you learn to adapt. Right. You know? 
you learn to adapt to the times that we are, we are living in, not that you just kwamilia on the same ideas that you had, even in our ways of, of appealing to people. The standards right now, if you're talking about artists who have set the bar in terms of being a brand musically, it's Saudi Soul. What you're going to notice over a long, for, for some number of years to come, is that everyone is going to be copying that format for Saudi Soul. Yep. Saudi Soul are very sharp. They always reinvent themselves. But you'll notice yep. that the rest of the industry, general industry, is going to copy the, the, the format that Saudi Soul has been using. And then you'll notice some redundancy and you'll notice some very copycat effect in the industry because mm -hmm. everyone, ah, so it's all did a live show like this. Like so, so everyone follows. It's in Kenya where you find a chemist is here. Someone comes and opens another chemist, another pharmacy, another. Yep. Uh, if it's a fruit, what on a panga line? So that copycat effect is what uh, uh, just uh, spoils the whole industry in Kenya. But if we are able to adapt and to be able to create new new forms of sharing our music, new forms of creating. Yeah new forms of teaching, new forms of mentorship, we'll notice that the industry is growing. That's true. That's true. Rodrigo, can yes. you please announce again, announce again where you're going to post it on YouTube? Because again, like I said, AOV contestants who are coming in on Monday must listen. It's M-U-S-T, capital letters, bold, italics, <laughs> to fill up. And they will actually do a review of this. So kindly post it again so that we can post it. You will post it. Post it round on our circles so that they can listen to Fila. Fila has done something that he does. He doesn't know. He just doesn't know how it's going to affect people's lives. Actually, so people by the way, he has inspired. Yeah. yeah. Yes, uh -huh. yes, yes. So I want that to reach out to everyone. So post it. Tell, um, can write a, a little post that's going to go around. And, and that probably will let people know about Jay Rodriguez as well as listen to Fila and do a review of Fila. They will see Fila also. So they have to see Ella. Fila. Hey, yes. Ella, yes. Ella, Ella. How do we, Basi? Yes, How do we? Yeah. Miss. But I think <laughs> my life has changed. Nipe Nipe ujumbe. Ujumbe ni kwamba kuna wrong side, bana. Kuna kuanga na right side na kuna wrong side. Fila has given us what most everybody <laughs> is able to share. And he did it successfully. Really, like he's a storyteller. Somebody said here. And I think everybody just... He is. Every, everyone in the industry needs to hear this story, you know? Right. Yeah. So let's start right. with our own people. They say charity begins at home. Okay, nice. Rodrigo. Yes, Beautiful. definitely. I work with Rodrigo as well, Fila. Yeah, thank you. Now it's nice as you told me. I mean, let's 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 partner. Let's partner on more stuff. I'll be supporting AOV Kabisa, mm. and then okay. uh, Rodrigo, your your company, we are for more Kabisa. Yeah, <laughs> sana man. By the way, for those of you who don't know, like I always say, if you are disciplined, if you are hardworking, but most of all, if you are humble, <laughs> those three things. They'll take you places you've never been. My students are here and they can also listen and they're also listening and they're also learning. Trust you me, when yeah. I met Fila, I met Fila through Mtawali and we were just going for a show. I didn't even think, you know, Fila would say hi, but I'm glad he did. Yeah, uh, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect he would say hi, but yeah, I'm glad that he did. And to have someone like Ella here, Ella has been my student for ever since she was, what, 16, 17 years old. And now she's, yeah. uh, she's, she's you know, she's big. She has a good, nice amazing. series. Speak in terms of ni 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 bazenga squeezy. It's an amazing, <laughs> amazing, amazing series, you know, and things like that. Thank and you. like you said, those of us who are teachers, you know, we, we're getting a lot of hard time being able to raise content and being able to teach. Me personally, I had to adapt to going to Smule. Being in Bakaneli by VIP status, so that I'm able to teach, however, whenever, because my my people are usually uko sides in New York and stuff. <laughs> so yeah, me yeah. I understand 100%. Yeah. Uh, Ella, Mimi, if the three of us stick here, Nini, I'm going to chance. Fanya, Ajay. And I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to ask you a question. Kuna Stella from KBC. Kuna Swali. Kuna Swali. Kuna Swali. Nilikuwa ni meona hapa. Somebody, I'm going to ask you a question. Let me try and trace it again. Oh, yeah. It's from Stella. If I wanted to take guitar classes online from you. Is yeah. that possible? Yes, it, it's very possible. Uh, actually, we would really want more online students because uh, it's 
it's, it's an area that we're again also testing. We have done it with a few students, and but we want to see how we can do it. Because particularly now, I would guess that online would work for guys like you who are very, very busy doing other things. So, because you see, if it's an online lesson, we can even do a lesson at 11 in the night, you know? Because you know most creative people can even take lessons or seek. So I think that that is the future. And then the what online lessons do now just open up your market. That's true. So the question is, don't give up. You have to keep marketing yourself. Uh, don't give up. Uh, don't feel that. Because I, I think what, what affects many creatives is that we get discouraged quite quickly. Because we're very personal about our our creativity and what we do. So if you see that it's not getting the response that you want, uh, but I think you, you start uh, it's also a why. challenge. Yeah, you wonder, is it, is it me who's marketing the buyer? But people just need to hear it over and over again for them to commit. Yeah. So for Stella, oh. definitely we can work out the lessons, yeah. Yeah, but also this is not like mathematics where you can just, you know, share it like class and come in. It's for the gifted. So we have exactly. a special year. So not mm. everybody, not, I mean, like much, much as you plan for 600 students, you might actually mm -hmm. get like five only. That yes, are gifted. yes, yes. So, Very true. <laughs> you, don't, you, can, yeah. you don't expect it to work like mathematics, history, geography. Yes. Like yes. that. Yeah. But mm. we, we seriously must consider a partnership, John Rodriguez. So that we have to. We are that is not in choice. terms of performance, you know. Yes. And Definitely. performance is actually what's taking eminence, you know. You might at this the university where I teach, I've taught for like the last twenty years, and mm -hmm. and you ask for a music lecturer, they will not give you the person who teaches classical music. They'll ask for Helen Tali, and Helen Tali is contemporary, you know. So yep. everybody probably is finding a way to get, you know, to to tint towards mm -hmm. performance. So. We must yeah. do collabo so that anybody who comes True. to me and I think Fila can sort them, I yes, must be yes, able to yes. give Fila a platform, yes. you know? Right. And yes. anybody who yes. wants performance, and I know I have too much, I can be able to share with mm -hmm. Rodrigo. Yeah. I know that yeah. Rodrigo trusts yeah. him enough to know that Rodrigo's school will provide what I also yes. provide, you know? Exactly. And then probably look yeah. for the next level, yeah? Like that. Mm -hmm. I'm even, I tell people it's fivefold. Fivefold in yeah. teach, like teach uh, music itself, performing arts that means music dance drama um music dance mm -hmm. drama creativity those who want to yes, do the creative yeah. stuff and she bang yeah. perf performance also has to do with <laughs> what ella does public speaking mm -hmm. you know emceeing because in terms yeah. of drama you want to act but also be doing you would do musicals as well as stand out there and be an mc mm -hmm. some of us have found ourselves mcs by default you know to come up with a plan that somebody mm -hmm. else who wants to become an MC, they can go through Phila school and still be able to enjoy oh. themselves. Yes. You can be able to do oh. online stuff, and when you come from Phila school, you're good. Yes. You know? Like that. So we, yes. we need to think next level. So from our performance, mm -hmm. we are the performance experts. What else do we prepare for them? And if exactly. the market actually proves them to be ideal, Allah. What does we have? Is and then, by the way, yeah. by the way, that's true. Which even means, even as students, even as when you apply for things like hey, this is on three, or you want to go to Phila's place, or you want to come to my place, you have to make yeah. sure that I work on point, so that even us, we have yeah. something to work with. I, I like what Phila said, and this is what Mtali always says, always, always, always. Beba kitu yako kuja nayo tuongeze kutoka hapo. Yeah? Mm. And the, the, the thing I always Na say... Na ukishinda, ukakuwa mkubwa huko ujue Phila pia mejulikana. You, know that, yeah. Yeah, you were blessed by Fila. Also, mm. see, cool and a pride, they love what AOV students do. When they go out there, we mm. thank God for Missy Jamambia so many and Tawali. But the thing is, somebody oh, nice. told us you give glory to where you got information from, you sky. That's right. Recognize exactly. Fila for his efforts to change and shape you, you skyrocket. That's Identify true. Jay Rodrigo's rub shoulders na Ella. Say, guys, I thank God for Ella. She changed my life. You know? Ella okay. and I only and I nuka one, I nuka zaidi. See that? Yeah, true. Yeah, it's it's true. true. It's it's true. true. We only get it in church. But recognize Phila for who Phila is. And everything that he's done to shape you. And by mentioning that, you know, everything, I'm from Dexter, I'm from Dexter. You know, 
once you mention data, peer awareness is that people respect data. And when you get knowledge for anybody, recognize them and then God lifts you higher. Amen. Hallelujah. Any other question, Nicole? Or comment, Ella? I think Masali Zimeisha. No, no, Dr. Bumbo <laughs> Nasima. And I'll be able to talk season three. I can sing a jaribu tena. I'll be able to sing. Definitely. Sana. I think, I think they're considering. He, he can, like he that. can. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dr. Bumbo Meskia, try your shot again. This time, probably you'll make. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, the, the way Mtawali is saying, yeah. or we just decided the three of us to catch it, to come up, you know, even as you're sitting here, <laughs> 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 Eh, yeah, to nini by the you know who knows these vitus to nothing in a zanga evil. So you know as, what I'm saying, what I was saying, yeah. Rodrigo, is you see, Fila, Fila is known for choral style. Most of the people who come to us have that contemporary sound, they have what 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 is yeah. it, and there's certain things Fila can bring so that we don't close them out. AOV yes. now is getting bigger and bigger. Look, there's, there's, there's what is that? Vigel and, and Levisky. They came to AOV. Some of them, we are thinking they are core, they, they want to sing, but you can mm -hmm. tell these are rap artists. We open mm -hmm. an yes, avenue for rappers. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. that's the other way that we can actually recognize them. Before we know it, we have different schools. Yeah? Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Consi consider schools that. schools joining up together to make yeah. one big team, by yeah. the way. That's true. One big Very team. True. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Mm. Aya, Ella. Yes, Rudy. Oh yeah, I see. Oh, good, good, good. Uh, to give us a comment, ni meona somewhere. So let me let me let me read it for you. Uh, Doctor Boom is saying. Uh, uh, oh yes, I have kuhad uh, in Amanisha Meskia. <laughs> Uh, Gizo <laughs> is saying, at least now I got a whole family. Mtash, Mam, Monyewe, Finland, and Dad, they are my brother. I completely lost you on that one. Just here, I'm just here. I'm not too sure if everybody oh. else heard you. They are your brother and your sister, and Ella, and your father, and your father. <laughs> okay. Asema, at, at least now I got a whole family, Mtash ni mom, Fila ni dad, JR ni big brother mkubwa. Hapa itabidi mkubali request yangu. That's what Tugia <laughs> said. <laughs> so, yo, asha jitete, asha jisema. Yeah. But yes, uh, I mean, uh, if, if, if people don't have uh, questions, you know. Uh, Ella, do you have questions for Fila? Fila, you can also add something if you have. I mean, oh, what are the no next way. plans for Red Forth? What are you guys planning? Um, you yeah. know, who's who's coming next? You know, who's, who are we seeing next with Red Forth? Yeah. Um, well, what I'd say is, uh, well, on, on, the, on, on the side of... Let let unamutu ako apa tunata commute eh ameji mute mnyia ameji jua. Alright. Uh, I well in in terms of plans, uh, Redford plans. I think right now uh, my next uh, agenda is I'm working with children, not not youth, not uh, teens exactly, but I'm oh. currently working with with small babies. <laughs> I call them babies, but they are from age. Yeah, uh, you read my mind. That's age. beautiful. That's yes. Beautiful. I'm working That's with beautiful. with kids from eight all the way to thirteen. So those are the releases that we're focusing. Yeah. You are the is one of five, them. Five, is five, one five. of them Janelle Tamara. Janelle Tamara, yeah, Janelle Tamara. I've met Janelle so. Tamara, and she's such a wonderful child. She sang <laughs> yeah. at her friend's wedding, and we were all mind blown. So outspoken, wow, wow, wow. and yet she's she's, she's such a tender age. Yes, Totum yes. logo, but she's doing such amazing things. So if she's yes. under your mentorship, we're sure <laughs> that she's going to be. this is the truth. <laughs> Fila, this is the truth. You work with a child, your families, because a child will yes. not bring themselves. They will come with a very, whole clan. Very true. Feel like you very hit true. being. 
you hit bingo yeah. i tell you at the end pass there's something i do for for the for the government with end pass end pass in nairobi performing yeah. us studios yes. so during the corona yes. time we started working with kids yeah, that young i'm telling you we could not know where to place them you have a child you have the whole family so fila umeona mbele bwana shake your hand shake your hand i'm taking your hand forever <laughs> that's the future that's the future yeah. Yeah well super, super. well so the, that 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 is a plan uh, on from the red fort front it's working with kids uh there is one area that um has been on my mind a lot and it's uh, it, it has been i think uh, one of the biggest challenges and it's something that i feel needs to be addressed uh, and that is finance and music finance and this yeah. industry uh where mm-hmm. now money comes in cause how do you balance your passion and the business mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. uh from a personal point of view i'm looking for that advice and i'm looking to now get into a situation where we get uh help in terms of advice for us cause us guys you know we are very emotional musicians we are emotional so exactly. today you want to focus on creative and then tomorrow you want to focus on production and then sometimes you, you don't want to know una taka pesa if someone is not calling you for money as equity so that balance is is what now we we i think i need to to learn more and then cuz now running having run the school sometimes you know it wears wears you down cuz you are giving so many scholarships and you know scholarship doesn't mean that that student is going to embrace music the way you thought they would right so when you find the balance That's between true. doing business and doing and making money and giving uh, planting a seed for for future cause the truth is you are not going to you're not going to see the full results of the seed that you plant today that's true so the kids that we are working with now uh the kids we're working with now you know i try talking to the parents i tell the parents that please don't i know it it comes out like i'm doing business with their kids but please know that if we were to do business to get kosana if if i'm supposed to charge you for making this kid become a star to ta kosana because the budget of a kid because the restrictions are so many because this is someone who's under age so everything has to be in the open Yep. So all the budgets that we contracts are contracts must be in, signed by the parents yeah, first before you know. Yeah, so it's going to be so challenging but I am more into through these kids in about 10 years the standards mm-hmm. of musicianship that we're going to have in Kenya. And then again not Very forgetting nice, yeah. I, I yeah and mm-hmm. then not forgetting the the cultural impact because now what I've noticed with the kids we're working with most of them are from the well to do schools you know they're going to the brook houses they're going to the st austins mm. so there's a chance of the culture getting lost mm. and that is the and that is the raw material that we need to stand out the reason why tanzanians stand out is because they are first of all tanzanians so they are very authentic so whatever they do to their music you can hear that authenticity you can hear the nigerian uh, idiom in every song that they release So as much as we have we have very gifted children but we also want to make them embrace their Kikuyu culture their Luo culture because mm. it's there you see that the truth about who you are it's well always in well there somewhere so those are the things that I'm 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 really battling and really trying to make sure that I now contribute we like you should go to one of the one one of the shows we had with you okay and can sing <laughs> now you see the as i feel yeah yeah yeah, yeah. You know, that's what i'm saying that's, that's why, what i'm saying that's why our show is africa online you, you have to be you see, yeah. you see cuz so you go the chinese around. can also sing luo bwana very true you see the chinese yes. singing your song bwana <laughs> i totally agree i totally agree because yeah. you you was you were talking about that at that time i sit no na ah it's not a must but the truth is that we to metoka you know so mm-hmm. those are the things even at this stage Kabisa. we realize mm-hmm. 
and yes mm -hmm. yeah that's 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 actually very 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 exciting by the way yeah. that's very exciting yeah. and, and uh, of course nitapea mtali you know ella sorry haya nisha take over show haya ella and the you become a journalist you become a journalist and then you think really i am that, <laughs> but yeah i was saying i was saying we need to be able to that's the thing i've learned if there's anything that mtali has taught me over the 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 you know over the long days and lo in many years we've we've been working with her since i think 2010 na huko mashujade is being able to understand we all need each other we all have something to bring to the table but she adds something on top and she says if you want to be authentic bring what is yours bring not what is borrowed bring what is yours uh, and i remember and i remember emikos gay saying if it wasn't for us our home is sitting her down and telling her by the ebusing na igi kalenjin sing with this sing with this native language because how she was singing kina kuna dawa and people are looking at her like mm. oh naimba tu gikuyu gikuyu kumkiwa na bishop yus moyero lango lango you know i think mtali luko kwa video I mean what a joy bring us akina fila akina you know Helen thank you so much what a, I'm, I'm sure most people here don't even know what joy bring us is but tunashukuru sana kwa kuja hapa walipata the beat but yeah before we end the session i think we have like uh, 10 minutes or so uh fila yeah. i want you to give last words so that mtali can give last words and then i can leave it to ella to finish up the show all right uh so me my last words is let's have more of this uh this is where musicians and creatives belong this is where teachers belong such a platform uh let's have more of of these platforms share it widely uh let's have more people tell their stories uh because uh that's what we need and uh, i i am truly grateful for for this platform and this opportunity um yeah and it it's been an honor to share to share what i've been through and what uh, i plan to achieve and also through this it also opened my mind to also think about other things that i can do to also make a contribution so thank you very much guys I, I look forward to more partnerships with you guys uh, at both a uh, voluntary level and even doing business together. I think mm. uh, there's an opportunity for, for us to make a bigger impact. That's yeah. right. That's right. And I can assure you, we will definitely call you at a C volunteer basis. We need to, Please. even Mutali says, make sure you also, even that artist that is singing, even that musician that is singing, they still need to put something on their table. And the secret Mutali keeps saying is very, the secret Mutali has and keeps saying, if we are all together, in fact, there's a Nigerian proverb that says, when we urinate together, we form a big form. <laughs> So can we learn to urinate together? <laughs> Twendele, sorry. Me si urinating. Even though me juta kwa hiyo mix. Eh even we. I'm a queen, you know, you're my queen. Can I do it with style? I know, you know. Hey my god. Fila does ana vinika kichwa. Yeah. Fila, fila I'm really honored. I'm really uh -huh. honored. I did I, you you have given this in the best way possible and the realest way possible. I had this at some point my tears almost came out. I'm like this is not filler talking, you know. It's not filler right. talking, but <laughs> even games, even games today, these games that people play on the phone. These days they don't just show you success. They even tell you that you actually can fail. You know, so when people are given the real side of things they can be able to look at things from different perspectives. This guy called Siokaki. So, Sio? Somebody Siokaki. He tells people that in this life, you don't have to be an A scorer. He was a D scorer. But the irony of life has it that there is just something for everybody. Not everybody is a failure. And that's why uh, 
the government has adopted the CBC, the CBC, competent, com, eh, yeah, well, competent, competent based, based curriculum to yes. show you that, that there's always everything for everyone. You don't have to be a teacher to prove that you're a musician. There are those who can be dancers and they could be dance teachers. There could be drama people and they could be drama people. Oh, Evelyn, that's Evelyn. Oh, Evelyn, you miss, oh, you miss, you miss this testimony. Anyway, mm -hmm. we'll find it on YouTube. I think uh, that-, that No, um, Evelyn, you didn't miss. Out exactly. You didn't miss, you didn't miss, yeah. So yeah. Pila, Pila, me, I thank you everyone, like Rodrigo said, I don't think there's anyone who has ever been interviewed and given the perspective that you did. It's true. Even it's me, true. all the interviews that I go, oh, please, I tell them I have been in the industry for 20 years and I'm oh, the, I was the youngest <laughs> professor. I was the youngest professor before they said discovered, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and yet, there's that other side of it that tells you, you know what, there are people who have failed severally to be able to make it. And today they make it and they make it big because of a path that they had to learn. So keep doing, keep doing until you find the you, you know? So big lesson learned. Thank you very much also for ag agreeing to do partnerships because even yes, employers yes. today look for team players. Team oh, players, that's, that's the key word because Fila has a bit of this. I have a bit of that. Ella has a bit of this. Rodrigo has a bit. If, if Lynn Amos has this, you know, when we put our heads together, like we say, Thank you to me, Eugenia, urination, but the thing is, put your hands together, <laughs> then something comes out. The Muzungu, the Muzungu monopoly. You are able to monopolize with many heads together and all of you get the benefits. Then, oligopoly, ile kila mutu na mama, nene mama, mama ndas pale, mama kia ngawa kule, kido kido, unawuza kidogo kidogo, muki, before you know it, muna wana wifu, mbaka muna machunga hapo, diyo machunga yanze kwa track watu, machunga yanze kwa track. So thank you so, so much, yeah. Ella, I think up to me on Jasana. When the Sosa Uta Fungajo, because clearly, you know. Staki uh, kwa kezi ya kitu because staki kwa ribu and besides everything has already been said. So, Ocha Tunisemi Asanti for coming to uh, for coming to this session. Uh, Fila, it was wonderful having you. Ushambiwa, that we've not had a session like this. You are so true. And the one thing that's outstanding about you is how humble you are. And that's one thing, Yenye, Wasani, creatives here in Kenya. I'm trying to make it kidogo and kitu inakuwa mawe. Wezi mungia kitu because they've made it and you haven't. So... Yeah. I admire that about you and um, truly I've learned a lot from your story. You're an amazing storyteller. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so thank, thank you for coming through. Mm -hmm. Helen Piawewe, as energetic as usual. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. At least to not get younger, good vibes kwa session. Eh? Yeah. So thank you for that. And to everybody that joined today's session, Asante Sana for sparing your time to come to Zoom Room with Ella. Na leo tulikuwa tumejoin you and Afila, director wa Red Force. Goja, Ella, 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 Mimi, Mimi, I'm wasting a goza. Mimi says this. It's not me. Now you're buzzing and I do Eve Amos. We have Amos and Zamskia. Anybody can be able to be about Eve Amos. Eve to Salimia Kidogo. Yeah, to Salimia, eh? Ah, Eve Amos, a coco. Eve, eh? Ambo. Wash a camera. Camera echo. Oh, and you're on. To the old. Yoyo Mimi, Rodriguez. Nima kuwana, nima kuwana, nima kuwana, nima kuwana sasa. If that was my guest today. Thanks for the invite. Thanks, Mwalimu, Niko. She was my guest today. She did our MC, was my MC at the AOV2, AOV2 ceremony. She also is a pastor with, I don't know, she's a pastor with the pastor. Harvest of Global Church. Yeah, oh, Harvest yeah. Global Church. Yeah, she is a she is a worship leader, a vocal trainer, tra trainer, vocal coach. Yeah, oh, and no. teaches people a lot about leading worship. Yeah, and 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 music in general. Actually, you go to her wall on Facebook. She has sessions and sessions, lessons and lessons right. to give to people. Yeah, on music and the voice. Yeah. And I also right. bake cakes. Hello. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Hola, simulikula. Creative yao. Oh, hiyo yeah, ni yako. Yes. Yeye yeah, nalipika hiyo, yeah. eh? Creative eh hiyo ndio side yake ya creativity. Haya <laughs> sisi wenye tujonja kiki yako tutakutafuta tutakuona kando. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah and oh. before we end the show uh, subscribe to Jerodic Entertainment you'll find Judge Villa's uh, video there and you'll see and hear everything that he said I mean this is one for the books this is one for the history books Jerodic Entertainment on YouTube uh, a Jerodic Entertainment group on YouTube and then uh, Instagram ina kwanga jr underscore e n full stop t underscore group so I'm sure Ella is hey. writing it up on I'm a Michelle. Kadha, but let me type it again. Yeah, yes. yes, she's typing it again. Subscribe, you'll always be able to find, like we said, and like Ella, of course, will say as she's finishing. Jerodic Entertainment is all about opening up opportunities and being able to connect you to industry professionals. Like, when did we ever have Mtawali and Judge Villa together in a... There has never been virtual. Virtual. Never, <laughs> <like, laughs> ever. <laughs> <laughs> the first platform we are yeah, so lucky. Wait until we, we, we invite Phil. Wait until we invite Phil Ian. Phil and Ian together like this, yeah. <laughs> yeah but exactly. So yeah. me I'm I'm so thankful of course and hey, thank you so much Helen for always having my back. Eh hey, kama kuna mtu anakunga meshikilia je entertainment ni ni Helen Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And of course, Vila, you are so welcome to the Jerodic Entertainment family. Sisi. Definitely. Sisi. Our tagline is, like I said, come away to share the love, spread the joy. Hakuna story. Amen. Media. Yeah, ah, and your Instagram, yeah. jr underscore en full stop t underscore group. That's where stop. we are. Yep, yeah, ni mamaliza hela, mamaliza. Tumebecha tu. Sawa, tu ni malize ni some comments mbili from Grace. Grace anasema, thank you JR Entertainment for the platform. I expect more and I hope I'll grow from such talks. Mm-hmm. Madam Helen, God bless you. And then mm-hmm. kuna from Shalin. Shalin anasema, thank you so much for your story filler. Personally nimejifunza mm-hmm. kitu. So, eh, hey, umetachwa se wengi sana and we're all very grateful. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. So, to avoid going in a loop, juzi vitu zote zishasemwa, acha tu tuseme good night. We don't want to let go kwa sababu session imekuwa nzuri sana. But all that is well. All is well that ends well, right? Sawa sawa. So, you guys have a good night. Tutaona na next week kwa Zoom room with Ella same time, same place. Meeting ID na kuanga the very same one. The link never changes. So feel free to mm-hmm. access Zoom room with Ella whenever you want. And if in case you missed the better section, the better part of this session, unezangalia kwa J Rodrigo Entertainment on YouTube. Thank you and have a good night. Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.